birth of Netflix was the birth of the biggest explosion of new production in the history of our business. Um, and that opens the door for a lot of great artists, artists who otherwise wouldn't have a platform, artists who didn't know somebody. Um, and I think the idea that more women, more people of color, more underrepresented voices happen because there are more choices is a great win for everybody. Yes. It's amazing. I mean, there were 17 Golden Globe nominations alone. Yes. With, we're also we're the, <laughs> we're the most nominated at the NAACP Awards coming up, too. So, oh, and, and, my. And glad. So I think we're, we're trying to uh, do the best in class work across every all kinds of programming. Wow. Like, could you have ever, like... Five years ago, ten years ago, because you have, would have ever imagined that streaming services would be like the new guard. I mean, it really is the new guard. I just think people really like the choice. They like the freedom. They like to be entertained on their own schedule, um, in the comfort of their own home sometimes. Because TVs are getting better. Sound systems are getting better. Um, so I just think that it's, it's just a natural that, um, that the, if you go where the audience is, the creative community will follow. Now, do you think the audience still wants an in-house movie theater experience versus... Sometimes. I do. I love yeah. it. I love yeah. going to the movie theater. So I, I hope it's around forever. Okay. Because yeah. I didn't get a chance to see The Irishman in yeah. the theater, but I did see it yeah. on my couch yes. and I watched it like straight through. But that's one movie yeah. that people are like, oh, it should have just stayed in the theater. What are your thoughts about that? No, I think it's, it was an incredible experience in theaters. It still is. It's still playing in theaters. So go check it out in the theater or watch it on Netflix. Your choice. Thank you so yeah. much for your time. Thank you. Thank